Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves <clears throat> that are all on this journey to love. And um, this morning, it's the full moon in Virgo tonight. And um, I asked, um, what do we need to know as light workers or twin flames about this moon and what's going on at the moment? <clears throat> And um, I picked a card uh, from the Work Your Light Oracle because it is all very much focused on what we are doing to shine our, our lights at the moment and sort of take the focus off of the twin and really put the focus onto you and how you are shining your light. And uh, that's been very clear guidance over, well, I guess it's always that guidance, but it seems to be very strong at the moment to really, really focus on you, how you're shining your light, what is what what you are doing to basically strengthen and empower your light because the, um, <clears throat> the light energy is super strong and we have to really look after ourselves because we are all taking on much more, more and more light. And I'm going to read a letter that I did for somebody. And uh, because again, really interesting to see what comes out. Um, <clears throat> and I will read that, um, and so it will give you, just probably you're doing all the things, but anyway, it's just another bit of guidance to remember. So, the message that came through was soul family, and so it is saying, call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. So it is, caught, So and I can see that obviously in my actually physical reality, you know, recently I've met up with another twin, um, we're, he, he's going to be working, we're going to be working together um, and so I can definitely see that the soul tribe's coming together both in physical and in this sort of connection like what we have on this channel and uh, that the purpose of that is so powerful so you can't underestimate how powerful that is bringing people together to actually anchor down the light that's the first thing so this card's coming out saying call in your tribe, you don't do it alone and at the bottom, it is trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? And this is what I always say. It's, you are your own, own, own best guide, always. So that little nudge, if it's a little nudge to say, go contact your twin, just do it. Just follow those nudges, because those nudges are you and your twin, basically your one, right? Your one coming together. So... <clears throat> Your one consciousness, one soul, one, you know, one, one everything coming into your oneness. So those nudges are the nudges of your twin as well. So that's the message. And this is, uh, so I'm just going to read the soul, uh, these cards, which is quite difficult to find because they're not in alphabetic order, which is kind of annoying. So the soul family coming together. Hang on one sec. Which isn't surprising, right? Because we really are coming together. I'm just going to recommend as well a couple of people. So one is Consciousness Evolution. Um, her readings are always so on point. And also um, Sherry from NFGC. I have to do it really slowly to get it right. NFGC. No facts given crew, that's it. And uh, she has been working on some tarot cards. And um, I think that they are ready now. So um, also her readings are really on point as well. So I would definitely recommend those. Consciousness, Consciousness Evolution and NFGC. Tarot. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm not feeling very good today, as you can probably tell. Right, okay, so a bit slow on the old brain. Right, so, so soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. It's time to call in your soul family and support team. People who get you at soul level. People who are the same kind of weird as you. <laughs> That's so brilliant, isn't it? Hang on, I just have to do this because that is just crazy brilliant, sorry. Um, <laughs> the same kind as weird as you. Look, the reason why that's really funny is look at this card. Your mind kind of weird. <laughs> and um, actually, the dog. I'm going to do two messages around the dog as well. The do and this is one of the crystal grids up here with all the roses and feathers and all that jazz, all the stuff. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> that's so funny. 
Ah, uh, you're my kind of weird, right? So you, Soul Tribe, are my kind of weird. So here we go. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for them to find you and recognize you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. If you have already found them, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can consist of all types of people, such as therapists, coaches, mentors or healers. Tune in to what kind of support you need now and know that you are always supported. <laughs> so there you go. You lot are my kind of weird. <laughs> so the next one is trust the niggle. And this is, you know, trusting that you are your own best guide. And you know what? So I said that my mum is also on this journey and she's with her, you know, basically she just had her first meet. She had... She met with her twin again after four years. And uh, of course, straight away after, she was like elated and just like so elated, right? But of course, a week later, I go to see her this weekend. All the doubts and fears and quit and all the other stuff has creeped in again. And so instead of focusing all on all of the positive things about it, immediately I had to spend the entire weekend coaching her again to stop thinking like that and focus on what was good focus on how it felt when you were together focus on the feeling that that is that is the truth that is the truth of the connection all of the other stuff about everything else you know because you think well how are we going to come together it's impossible and da 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 and I was like oh. <laughs> okay breathe take 10 deep breaths next let's go through it <laughs> like oh my god our crazy minds just put all this stuff in and so you have to just remember when your mind is going off on those tangents it's the time to just call it out and go just stop right take 10 deep breaths get connected to your heart listen to what your heart is saying and then reevaluate the situation <laughs> Because that's when, you know, when I did that with my mum, she was like, I was like, now what is your guidance saying? She said, and she was like, they tell me not to worry. I'm like, well, there you go. That is what you have to remember. Your inner guidance system is your twin guiding you home. And I know that it's, it's really powerful. The mind plays crazy powerful tricks, right? And, uh, you know, you can almost, because, you know, for me, when I'm doing the healings for people, I see everything. That's why I'm always like, don't tell me anything. Because I know as well that if I see something and you've given me some prior information, my mind will play tricks on me to make me think that I think that I've thought that, right? And then it will question my... Um, I'll then start questioning whether it was, you know, did I think it or was it real and all of that stuff. So I'm really super careful about, you know, never wanting to have any information from people beforehand because of that reason. Because the mind is powerful. The mind will start to bring in doubt and fear and all of those things. And so that's what we are up against, right? We're up against really, really living in your truth and in your truth it's that's not easy to do that right that is a challenge that's every day when you feel your mind going crazy it's about being disciplined being disciplined to know okay i need to calm my mind i need to go and sit with a tree i need to count 10 deep breaths i need to breathe in golden light i need to breathe out all the crap i need to breathe in golden light i need to breathe out all the crap Right? And do and that is the discipline. You can manage it, but it's about managing your own process, right? If you don't do those you know, those all those different practices, whatever it is for you, you know, like crystals or whatever it is, playing music or whatever, then you can so quickly get out of hand, you know, and the comparison like between the week before when I saw my mum, she was just over the moon and elated. And this week, I, it was just like light and day because she'd just gone into this whole spiral of, you know, everything about every reason why it's not possible that they can come together. So I was like, yeah, so exhausting, really. <laughs> but anyway, that's just the nature of the journey. You've got to just, you just got to know that it's all about fighting, fighting the fear. So... 
the trust the niggle card is this that nigg that niggling feeling that annoying niggling feeling that inconvenient annoying niggling feeling and try as you might it's always there and it ain't gonna go anywhere most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings throwing their best dollops of stubbornness ego and post rationalization to numb them out it's exhausting and until you face the niggle life just throws you more bait to awaken it to draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out. The niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Often, we feel the niggling feeling in our body first. Many people think that intuition is something from the high realms, but in fact, it is the body that is the intuitive one, working through our senses to deliver vibrational information. It takes just a moment every day to scan your body, to receive the intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly. You are being called to face the niggle now. If you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path. And then you will likely regret that you didn't answer the niggle in the first place. I know it's scary, but you are safe. Answer the niggle. Okay, so the message is definitely saying, what is niggling you? What is your gut feeling saying? But also about how to tap into that gut feeling. If you're, if you're, if you were like my mum running around this crazy headless chicken, you can't even feel the niggle because you've let your mind spiral out of control. So that's why taking, sitting down, taking ten deep breaths, breathing in golden energy, breathing out uh, all of the smoke, right, and that's all the crap. And when you do that, it calms you down in order that you can hear your body's response. When you ask yourself the question that you want the answer to, your body will respond and it will tell you. If it feels light, then it is your truth. If it feels heavy and you kind of sink, it's not your truth, right? So therefore, it's not for something that you should do. So your, your own inner pole of emotions that runs through you, that is your indicator. So the best way to do it is calm, then ask the question that you want the answer to. If your body sort of lights up and lifts, then it's your truth, it's yes. If it goes heavy and you kind of sink a little bit, then it's no. Okay, so that's the thing. Now the next thing is some guidance. So this is not from somebody's twin. I actually don't know who this person is, but they wanted guidance from this person. And it is this. So we can all take this guidance, right? Especially at the moment, energies are really heightened and uh, so it's really worthwhile remembering. Be gentle with yourself. Take lots of rest, drink lots of water. Look at yourself as a funnel of light and every single cell needs to be filled with light. But to do that properly, each cell needs to see, be hydrated to be acting at its 100% optimum performance. So, to be 100% efficient in your light body, make sure you take on a lot of water. Always hydrate as one of the, if not the most important thing you do. Drink and sleep and live intentionally. Those are the three secrets to successfully awakening. Soul growth to physical perfection. Right. So, super powerful, right? Because I think we can all drink more water. And again, it's one of those things that you kind of think, oh yeah, I know, I need to do that, and then I don't do it, and your body's constantly niggling you to say, you have to drink more water, right? And you have to get better sleep, and you have to take better care of yourself. Right, all of the niggles that happen, that we just tend to think, oh yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. Well, today's the time, if you're not doing it, is to start today. So the message again is be gentle with yourself, take lots of rest, drink lots of water, look at yourself on a, as a funnel of light and every single cell needs to be filled with light. But to do that properly, each cell needs to be hydrated to be acting at its 100% optimum performance. So to be 100% efficient in your light body, make sure you take on a lot of water. Always hydrate as one of the, if not the most important thing you do. Drink and sleep and live intentionally. Those are the three secrets to successfully awakening. Soul growth to physical perfection. There you go. One last thing. I did my cards for my mum. 
the overall card was the four of wands right four of wands is marriage bliss happy ever after 